Welcome to IMS. I'm Charlie. We're down here in Shakopee. We're heading in door number 200 to check out what we got going on in the facility. Follow me. So our entire process starts right here with uh, customer service, order entry, sales. Uh, these gals up here, get your PO in. They're gonna throw it in the system and we're gonna be ready to rock and roll over to engineering. So follow me to engineering. So over in our engineering department, these guys are gonna take your models. Uh, they're gonna create DXFs, all sorts of IMS prints based on what we're doing in the shop. Uh, we can get that out in the system and to our laser within a matter of minutes because we are paper on demand. So we try to use as little paper as possible and use as much technology as possible. So from there, this is really where the magic starts happening on that side of the wall. Come check out the lasers. So right here is where we keep most of our material. You can see everything's here with a yellow piece of paper on it. That's IMS owned material. We take that material and we dynamically nest it so we can get the best material usage, which gives you, the customer, the best price. So, we've got all sorts of different material types and thicknesses. We've got mild steel, we've got stainless, we've got galvanized, aluminized, titanium. You name it, we've got it here. And this is really where the magic starts happening. We've got two lasers, we've got an 8,000 watt fiber laser, we've got a 4,000 watt fiber laser. We load the material up in our tower here, and this tower system shuttles to both of our lasers back and forth. It automatically loads, it automatically unloads, so we can be running 24-7, 365 if we need to. Follow me over here to the lasers, you can check this out. So this is where Kevin, our main man at the laser, really gets the magic working. He's nesting parts, he's transacting jobs over here, he's shuttling material to each laser. Let's check out the 4K and the 8K cutting. So you can see right here we've got our tool path and the 4K is cutting away right now. This is one of our older machines. We got the newer 8K right over here. Like I said, again, these machines are state of the art, best machines money can buy, and we're running them as hard as we possibly can. So we've got the tool pathing up here on the screen and the laser's cutting away and we're just go, 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 go. Next from here is our part separation department. So we had a dynamic nest over at the lasers. That table gets output right here and this is really where we start taking the parts and pieces and we're gonna separate them over here in part separation department. So over here the jobs are to take the parts and pieces out of the nest Verify the count, make sure you get the tab and the burr off so that we can package it up as nice and neat for the next operation. This is really the central hub of our entire facility. So from part separation, it could go right over to shipping. It could go to assembly, it could go to welding, it could go to the press break, it could go to paint. So this is really the center hub of all of the wheel that we call IMS. Um, another operation we do back here is tumbling. So we do tumble take the small parts, we tumble them up so that we can get all the burrs and sharp edges off of them. So let's just say we're taking apart and we're going to head over to welding next, kind of check out the process over there. So in our welding department we've got four different work centers going here, or work stations I should say. Uh, primarily what we do is TIG welding, but we do have the ability to MIG weld. We do aluminum, we do stainless, we do mild, you name it we can do it back here. We have very, very sophisticated equipment. We believe you buy the best equipment, you hire the best guys, you're gonna get the best product. Next, we're gonna head over to assembly, show you a few cool things over there. So over here in assembly, we got a lot of different things going on. We can start way on the far right here, we do tank testing. So we have a pressure decay system where we can take all of our tanks and we run them through a rigorous test to make sure that they don't have any leaks, that we have leak-free tanks leaving this facility. Over here, we'll do drill, tap, countersink, some minor sanding and grinding. Um, we've got all sorts of stuff going over here. We do kitting over here. Uh, we do PEM hardware, where we install hardware in this work center. We just keep flexing it around, moving equipment around as needed, um, bring more guys in when we need. So this is really a dynamic work center with a lot of opportunity for growth internally uh, to help our customers out and help everybody kind of learn a little bit of everything within the assembly work center. Next, we're gonna be heading up to uh, the press break where we're bending metal. So 
So up here in the press brakes department, we've got four Cincinnati press brakes. Uh, we have up to 135 ton, six axis machine, all the way from there down to a 60 ton. Um, again, all Cincinnati Wilson customized, or uh, sectionalized, excuse me, tooling. So again, we hire the best people, we give them the best equipment, we get the best products. So this is an awesome work center to learn all sorts of engineering stuff, uh, from reading and prints, to tool selection, to bend developments, that kind of stuff. Every day is a little bit different up here. We're bending all sorts of different material types and thicknesses. Uh, we're doing all sorts of different styles of bending also. So we can get into that later, but it's really an awesome work center uh, with, with a lot of opportunities and very, very precision parts that we're manufacturing here. Next, we're headed off to uh, Powder Coat Paint Line. So one really cool thing about our powder coat paint is not everything that we manufacture we paint, not everything that we paint we manufacture. So that makes life really interesting over here. So some of the stuff that we manufacture over on the metal side we're painting over here, like you can see on the powder coat paint line right now. Other things come in from an outside source uh, where all we're doing is powder coating. So the fun thing with powder coat is the line is negatively charged and the powder is positively charged. So we hang the parts on the line, they go through a three-stage wash system where we get all the dirt, dust, debris off. In the far back, the guys are applying the powder and the powder is positively charged, so the powder clings to the part. It then goes through our oven for about 20 minutes at 400 degrees to get a really good cure. And from there, we package it up for the customer requirements and out the door it goes. We do a lot of different color changes, a lot of different parts and pieces every day. So there's never a dull moment over here on Powder Coat Paint. We can head over to Batch next. So over here in Batch, it's the same concept, right? We're powder coating parts, but it's more of a manual process. They're big parts, so we gotta hang them on a big rack. We hang them up, we wash them, we powder coat them, we bake them, we pack them, we ship them. Same concept, it's just bigger parts that don't fit down our powder coat line. We have a lot of a size variation that we can do just about anything here up to about 19 to 20 feet long. So again, a lot of variations, a lot of different parts and pieces, a lot of different colors. Never a dull moment over here in batch powder coat paint. From there, really the last stop is our shipping and receiving department. We'll head up there, check out what we got going on. So up here in our shipping and receiving department, we're packaging parts per the customer requirements. We're verifying count, we're verifying quality of parts. Uh, we notify the customer, let them know if parts are here. We can either schedule a shipment for the customer or maybe they have a specific shipping company that they wanna use. We're super flexible on how we ship, where we ship, uh, but we're always in contact with the customer, letting them know the second their parts are done, they know. It's been a fun process here at IMS. We went through the entire metal side, the paint side, and really from here, everything's going out the door. Thank you.